let us work out one more problem on page number 167 which is an exercise problem problem number is 4.37 in Matthew Sadiku okay you know he says that a dielectric interface is defined by 4x plus 3y is equals to 10 meters okay so he gave the interface is defined by this uh, plane function so the plane function is 4x plus 3y is equals to 10 meters of course okay now the region including the origin is free space where d1 so he gave d1 so d1 is given to be how much here so d1 is simply 2 a x cap minus 4 a y cap plus 6.5 6.5 a z cap of course into uh, the units are nano coulombs per meter square nano coulombs per meter square okay and uh, he gave uh, since he said that the region is free space i can directly take it as epsilon r1 is equals to 1 for free space since uh, epsilon r1 is 1 next he gave clearly that epsilon r2 in the region 2 the permittivity is given by epsilon r2 is 2.5 5. So, epsilon r1 is 1 and epsilon r2 is 2.5. So, he is asking us to determine d2. Okay. So, he is asking us to determine d2. Okay. And of course, the angle uh, makes with the normal, he said. That means, we need to determine theta 2, not theta 1. Okay. So, uh, the problem is a bit clear, but the only uh, only thing which is not clear here is the uh, plane. So here the interface is given as a plane. So whenever the interface is given as a, it is defined with a plane equation, then a and cap would be yeah. Now this is a bit peculiar, uh, and uh, you need to consider it more here. Now whatever is on the arches, we are not concerned. Okay, we are not concerned on whatever is on RHS, we are concerned only with this LHS. So, 4x plus 3y. So, it implies the x component is 4, the y component of unit vector is 3. So, an would be 4x, 4ax cap plus 3ay cap divided by, since it is a unit vector, the magnitude of this vector is simply root of 16 plus 9, which is 5. Okay, so the unit vector is uh, an is equals to 4ax plus 3ay by phi now once we got a unit vector every top ticket hurry can easily kind of find out the normal component of the given vector so what is the formula for determining the normal component d1 dn1 it is d1 dot a n of course we let us call it as a n1 so a n1 cap okay d1 bar dot a n1 cap into a n1 okay so now let us substitute it here so uh, it is nothing but 2 uh, a x cap minus 4 a y cap plus 6.5 a z cap dot 4 a x cap plus 3 a y cap by 5 into 4 a x cap plus 3 a y cap divided by 5 okay now let us work out this problem with this uh, calculation so a x into a x is 4 so is 2 into 4 is 8 and minus 4 into 3 is 12 so 8 minus 8 minus 12 by 5 so i am not considering the z cap because there is no component of z here okay into a x cap i mean 4 a x cap my plus 3 a y cap divided by 5 okay now what is it it is minus minus 2 of minus 4 by 5 so it is minus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 into 4 a x cap plus 3 a y cap by 5 okay now so what is 0 0.8 into 4 3.2 by 5 would give us minus 0 0.64 minus 0.64 a x cap and 0 0.8 into 3 is 2.4 2.4 2 by 5 would give you 0 0.48 plus 0 0.4 i mean minus only here so minus 0 0.48 into a y cap okay so this is dn1 now what would be dt1 obviously dt1 is d1 minus dn1 okay so it is simply what is d1 given for us d1 given for us is 2 okay 2 uh, i mean i am writing directly the yeah 2 a x cap minus 4 a y cap plus 6.5 az cap minus of minus 0.64 ay ax cap ax cap 
minus 0.48 ay cap okay so in total it would be the 2 minus of minus is plus it is 2.64 ax cap and uh, minus 4 minus 4 plus 0.48 is minus 3.52 okay so it is 3.52 into ay cap and uh, no z here on that side so it will be the same so it is 6.5 into az cap so this is of course uh, the units are nano coulombs per meter square so the first part of the problem is over so he's asking you i mean yeah first of all first part of the problem is not over so what is d2 i mean uh, d d uh, yeah so this is nothing but your dn2 okay now once you got dt1 how can i get dt2 so we know that relation as uh, et1 is equals to et2 okay from this what is the replacement for et1 dt1 into epsilon r1 i mean i am cancelling out epsilon r because it's on both sides is equals to dt2 into epsilon r2 okay so what is dt2 from this dt2 is dt1 into epsilon r1 by epsilon r2 okay so if i substitute uh, here what what is it that I am going to get? DT2 is equals to epsilon R1 is 1 and here it is 2.5. So, 1 by 2.5 into this total expression which is 2.64 AX cap minus 3.52 AY cap plus 6.5 AZ. If you calculate uh, this DT2, it will be 1.056 into AX cap minus 1.408 into AY cap. Plus 6.5 into AZ cap. Now, uh, if I uh, uh, now forgetting D2, I need to add D T2 and Dn2. Okay, that means I am going to add this vector that is minus 0.64 into x cap minus 0.48 into a y cap that with the, this vector which i got now okay so if i add these two i am going to get it as uh, 1.056 minus uh, 0.64 will give you 0.416 a x cap and uh, minus 1.408 and minus 0.48 of a y would give you minus 1.888 into a y cap and of course this is as it is and uh, of course yeah here it is uh 2.6 okay so plus 2.6 into az cap okay this is the total value of this is the total value of d2 okay this is the total value of d2 if we calculate theta 2 the basic formula for theta 2 is tan inverse e i mean dt2 by dn2 okay dt2 by dn2 okay so if i substitute these values just what is the normal component here yeah the normal component has got uh, this magnitude so uh, simply this under tan inverse of uh, yeah now coming to the normal component amplitude so the normal component amplitude is under root of 1.056 square plus 1.048 square sorry 1.048 408 square plus 2.6 square divided by now what would be the tangential uh, normal component mag magnitude it, this is the tangent this is the normal component for you so it is under root of simply 0.64 square plus 0.48 square okay and this answer you are going to get it as 75.7 degrees okay so this is the final answer and if you are if you want you can check out the answers at the back of the uh, booklet okay so this is how we, we are going to work out one problem if uh, the boundary surface is a plane boundary okay thank you for watching this video and if you have any queries please uh, ask them in the form of comments and uh, uh, if you like this video and if you feel informative uh, i am requesting you to uh, subscribe for our channel rec tv education thank you